everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be filming a drugstore mauve makeup tutorial for you guys. This is mauve, this is like the colour mauve I'd say. So if you're not sure what the colour is, it's basically this. It's like a grey purpley colour. Um, I asked you guys yesterday on Instagram to let me know what video you want me to film. And a few of you said to do a drugstore makeup tutorial. So this is what I'm doing. Um, a load of you also said for me to do a room tour. I will be doing a room tour, not just yet. You can't see this side of the room, but it's not done at all. So I'm gonna wait till I've made all my trips to Ikea um, and my room is completely done. And then I will do a room tour, but don't you worry. I promise I'll do one, but not just yet. So anyway, if you wanna know how to create this drugstore mauve makeup look, then please keep watching. So to start off this look, I'm going to go in with my Olay moisturiser, which I have been using for years. I can't put my makeup on without applying this before. Um, and then I'm going to apply my primer, which is from, ba I think it's Barry M, yeah. And it's the colour correcting primer. I got this a while ago, so I don't know if they still do it, but I will have a look online for you and leave it in the description. And then I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match foundation. I love this foundation. And then I'm going to grab my foundation brush. This foundation brush is from the Vanity Planet brush set. I have a 70% off code for you guys for their 15 piece brush set, which is insane. They are vegan and cruelty free. So I'll leave all of that in the description below. And then I'm going to use the Instant Anti-Age Concealer in the shade Light by Maybelline. Maybelline just do the best concealers. And then I'm just going to apply that onto my face and parts where I want to conceal and highlight. And then I'm going to grab my damp beauty blender and just blend that in. I literally can't put my concealer on in a different way. I have to use the damp beauty blender. It's just the best. And then I'm just going to set my concealer in place with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I like to get rid of my wrinkles first underneath my eyes. They're not really wrinkles, but they're the lines. You know, everyone has them. But I have them extra bad. So I get rid of them with the Beauty Blender and then pop the powder on. And then I'm using this really big brush from the Vanity Planet brush set. And I'm just going to pop the same powder all over my face. And then I'm going to grab their really big brush from the same brush set, just so I'm blending it on my neck so I don't have a mask. <laughs> I do not want a mask. And then I'm going to grab the Revolution, I forgot what this is called, but it's like their contour kit. It's powder as well, which I love. And I'm just going to contour and bronze up my face. So that is what I'm doing. I'm using the angle brush from the same brush set that I've been using the whole time. I have got a 70% off code, which I will leave in the description below for you guys, so it's all good. So moving on to eyes, I'm just going to prime them first with the Maybelline concealer that I was using before. And then I'm going to set that in place with the powder, the Rimmel Stay Matte, which I was using before as well. I'm moving on to the Revolution Ultra Professional Flawless Matte Palette. I'm using this throughout the whole look. And I'm going to grab this first colour here and pop this all over my lid. And then I'm going to grab these two colours here. And I'm going to use the brush from the Vanity Planet brush set. And I'm going to pop that direct on my crease. And drag it a tiny bit down on my lower lash line. But mainly focusing on the crease. And then I'm just going to get an angle blending brush and blend that colour upwards just to make it really seamless so there isn't any like sharp lines and then I'm going to grab these two shades here with the flat brush from the brush set and I'm going to pop that mainly on my on my lash line and then I'm also going to put it on my outer V as well I keep going back and forth with these just because you never get the right consistency the first time so keep trying just going back and forth with the same colours and then lastly I'm going to use this it's like a brownie maroony shade um, on my outer V and a tiny bit on my lower lash line just to make the look a little bit more darker so I'm just going to go back and forth with the colours here and with the blending brush and just blend them up until I like the consistency And now moving on to eyeliner, I'm going to use the NYX liquid eyeliner pen you guys have seen me do my eyeliner so many times so I thought I would Fast forward this bit on just a little bit, um, so this bit is very very quick but I'm just winging my eyeliner like I usually do. 
Then to clean up the eyeliner at the end, I'm just going to use a cotton bud just to make the line a bit neater. And then moving on to mascara, I'm going to use the Maybelline mascara that I've been loving like over the past few weeks. It's got better the more I've used it, so I really like it. Telescopic is still my favourite, but I do really like this one. And then after I've applied a generous amount of mascara, I'm going to move on to eyelashes. I'm going to use the I Spy lashes in the style Midnight. I adore these lashes so much. It just gives you sort of that really wispy, smoky and sexy look. So I really like these. So and they're so easy to apply as well. They've got such a thin band. So they don't look too much or too heavy. So definitely recommend these. And then I'm going to pop some mascara on my lower lashes. My lower lashes? My bottom lashes. <laughs> like you do. And then I did cheat. I think this was the only bit I cheated on. Um, I got sent this blush and I was dying to use it, so I just used this blush. But blush is blushes really, you can just use any blusher you have, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then I'm going to use this Revolution Highlighter, which I love. I love how it's just a mixture of highlights, so the colours are really, really good. Um, and then I'm going to pop that on with the fan brush from the Vanity Planet brush set. And then moving on to lips, I'm going to use the Rimmel Cappuccino Lip Liner, which is my favourite ever. And then I'm going to go in with the Colour Ritchie L'Oreal Lipstick in the shade 231. These are both so amazing. I just love the combination of the lips. So this is the final result, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video, if you have then it would be so amazing if you could give this video a thumbs up, also if you're new to my channel then it would be incredible if you could subscribe, it's just that red subscribe button down below, um, there is eight, over 81,000 of you subscribed to me which is crazy, I just want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing and supporting me along this incredible journey, I just, I can't believe it, there's so many of you. Yeah, so if you are new, then it'd be so amazing if you could just subscribe and join our amazing family. If you have any video requests, 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 um, then please can you let me know in the comments down below. I will be answering all the comments after this video, so make sure you come and say hi in the comments and I will see you there. So thank you so much for watching and I will also see you in my next video. Bye!